Cole Reagans leading the charge, making start number eight. And on a nice roll right now, Hud, he's given up just two earned runs over his last 11 innings. Change up, and that's a swing, and Reagans begins the night with a strikeout. Here is Joey Ortiz, who hits in the two spot today. Here's the 3-1. And he took high, and Ortiz works the walk. Reese Hoskins coming up. Brewers first baseman hitting 225 with a half a dozen home runs. Fastball right by him, 98, right down the middle. Two down. So two down for Willie Adamas. Pretty good power, and he whacks one toward the right field corner. Back goes Renfro to make a one-handed catch as he neared the warning track. So a couple of strikeouts, a walk, and a well-hit ball to right. And here is Bryce Wilson, who is being used as a starter. This will be his fourth out of 13 appearances because of several injuries to their starting rotation. 3-2 pitch to Garcia. And he missed up and in. And Garcia works the leadoff walk. Bobby, 44 hits, four of those home runs. 19 RBIs, batting average 319. Runner started and stopped. Ground ball to third. Monasterio goes to second for one on to first. Not in time. Witt runs too well. Sinker down in the zone. He pounds it to the ground. Good job by Monasterio to get it over to Joey Ortiz, who turns a quick double play. Just couldn't complete it. Runner goes. A swing and a miss. Throw down to second base. And Witt is in with a steal. Pasquantino's gone on strikes. Salvador Perez, who had four tough at bats against Texas yesterday, Salvi went 0 for 4. And the pitch comes inside and strikes Salvi on the left arm. Also, it snuck by his shoulder and got him on the wrist. I'd like to have taken that off the shoulder, I guarantee you, or that elbow bat. Ooh. And that's a second free base runner for the Royals in the inning after the leadoff walk, and now two on for Michael Massey. And a ground ball to second base. Ortiz has it and throws him out. So the Royals leave a pair, and after one, no score. 0 0 ball game as we go to the bottom of the second inning here in Kansas City. Hunter Renfro with 14 hits and three home runs. And that's a shot into center field. And the Royals have their leadoff man on for a second straight inning. You know, the last few times he's barreled balls, man, they've all been hit hard. That one was 108. Yeah, that's nice. You know, when you hit that by, by the pitcher like that, that's a good feel for a hitter. This one hit out towards left center. Perkins has a beat on ball continuing to carry he makes the catch on the warning track and back to first goes Renfro so one on one out Adam Frazier up there and Frazier is swinging a miss he's gone on strikes second K for Wilson two down for the number nine hitter Dyron Blanco the pitch got him looking two seam fastball right of the knees and the third strikeout of the night for Bryce Wilson. Reagan's faces Andrew Monasterio, right-handed hitter. Payoff pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. Reagan's might have been a little bit annoyed that that at bat almost got away from him, but he bounces back to strike out Monasterio, one down in the top of the third. William Contreras bats for the second time today. Changeup. That's the pitch this inning, two up, two down. Here comes another 0-2 to Ortiz. Hit on the ground softly, third base side. Garcia moves to his left, picks it up, slings to first in time for the out. Ortiz is retired, and Reagan sets the Brewers down in order. Michael Garcia leads off against right-hander Bryce Wilson. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Oh, he elevated that fastball and juiced it up a little bit. 94 on the radar gun for Bryce. Here's Bobby Witt, Jr. This one hit for Kansas City as Witt breaks his bat. It's a fair ball. Monasterio's got to get rid of it across the diamond in time to get Witt. Great play by Monasterio. That is a great play by Andrew Monasterio. Bobby Witt Jr., probably the fastest player in all of baseball, throws on the run a strike to Reese Hoskins to get him. Brewers still don't have a hit. Ten outs into the outing for Reagans, and that brings up Willie Adamas. Liner towards the middle and off the glove into center field a base hit. There's the first knock of the game for Milwaukee. The runner on first one out. Blake Perkins backs now. Switch hitter batting right handed. Two down and five strikeouts for Reagans and he's really feeling his changeup tonight. The Brewers have not scored a run this road trip yet against an opposing starting pitcher. Brings up Gary Sanchez. Here's a drive deep into left center field. It is way back and it is way gone. A Brewers fan right in front of the fountains comes away with a catch and the Brewers have a 2 nothing lead. Gary Sanchez demolishes one right out towards the fountains. 
It's his fourth of the year, and they've gotten their first runs against the starting pitcher on the trip. Yeah, so, I mean, this was the 24th home run I've caught during a game in an MLB game. Caught the ball immediately, kind of ran, you know, did a, you know, big pump up, really excited about it. Shout out to streamer Sketch, uh, you know, he does, you know, a little celebration, you know, he does his things on stream, so had to give him the bird arms, have a little fun, and then shoulder jump with my buddies here and, you know, having a great time. Royals go down in order for the second straight inning. Bryce Wilson has retired nine consecutive batters going back to the second. We head to the fifth. Brewers two, Royals nothing. Royals down two nothing. Top of the fifth at Kauffman Stadium. Here is the number nine hitter, their third baseman, right-handed inning, Andrew Monasterio. Change up, strikes out Monasterio a second time. And now Reagans has seven strikeouts, five with his changeup. And the 2-2 pitch. And a swing and a roller to short. Bobby has it. He'll fire across to Vinny Pasquantino right on the money and Cole Reagans has a one two three fifth Bryce Wilson with a quick efficient one two three bottom of the fifth and all three outs recorded by the Brewers center fielder back to back walks from Bryce Wilson it puts the potential tying runs on base with nobody out in the bottom of the sixth this will be pitch number ten from Wilson to Pasquantino ground ball to second. Ortiz to Adamas back to first double play there it was four six three double play that is absolutely huge for Bryce Wilson right there Salvador Perez steps to the plate 0 for one with a strikeout got him swinging through the curveball a pump of the fifths and Bryce Wilson guts his way through six shutout innings so Nick Anderson will take over the Brewers seventh Paul Reagan's only gave up two hits Two outs in the top of the seventh, and Sal Freelich comes to the plate. Fastball hits sharply toward Massey at second. He makes a backhand stop on one hop, throws to first. Freelich's out, inning over. It is indeed Jared Koenig taking over for Bryce Wilson as we go to the bottom of the seventh. It's a lefty-lefty matchup for Massey, who's 0 for 2 tonight. Massey clocks it high in the air, deep right field. Freelich's back, onto the track, at the fence, it's gone! Michael Massey puts the Royals on the board with a solo home run. It's his third home run of the season. And the Royals have cut the deficit in half in the bottom of the seventh. It's a 2-1 game. The first and second, Blanco's coming up, and he'll get Elvis Piguero in a rare misfire for Kane to get on the mound. He's been so locked down for the Brewers, but tonight gives up a homer. A strikeout, a wild pitch, and now a walk. Dyron Blanco comes to the plate, right-handed batter. Armside run. Adamas got a glove on it, but no play with Blanco's speed, and the bases are loaded. Got the ground ball Murphy wanted, but I'm not so sure Adamas had to slide on that, but when he slid, it interrupted his timing. The ball hopped up on him. He wasn't expecting that either. Up the middle and into center field. The game is tied. And now the Royals take the lead with Frazier coming around. And Garcia goes hustling into second base. And the Royals, who were held scoreless for the first six innings, have scored three runs in the bottom of the seventh to take the lead. And it'll be Chris Stratton for the top of the ninth inning in a one-run game. The Royals lead it 3-2, to two, top of the ninth inning. Gary Sanchez at the plate. Perkins is at first. There are two outs. On the ground at Bobby Wood Jr. He has plenty of time, and the Royals win it. Come from behind. And the Royals are 2-2 two and two on the homestand, beating the first-place Brewers tonight.